Hello guys, Nick the Shelf here. Today I will show you the easiest and quickest way to make a chart for Friday Night Funkin'. And the only thing you will really need is a audio workstation like FL Studio or a free one like Kwell. Well, anything works. So let's begin. So the way this is going to work is that we are going to use this new tool called MIDI to FNF, which converts MIDI files into a Friday Night Funkin' song chart. You can download it from the link in the description. And if you're on Windows, you can use the EXO file. If you're not on Windows, you're out of luck. You need to use the P file and get deliveries it requires. And aside from that, you will need a MIDI file of whatever song you want to convert into FNF. In my case, I'm gonna use Nike of Nikes from Tuhu. You know, this one. I'm going to use FL Studio for this tutorial. You can use whatever workstation you want. You can use Kwalk, as I said before. So let's begin. As you can see here, you will have 16 channels. You can have less, but never more than 16, which all of the instruments from the song. So what we are going to do is use a couple of channels to drive the melodies. For example, here we have like the, the piano instrument. I think that works really well, for example, for the rows. I think it has a nice rhythm, so we'll take this one. And we're gonna place it on a new channel. And then we're gonna use something else for player two, okay? So for player two, let's use the bass. Let's use an example so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna place this here. And now we have both MIDI files and two the same things. So right now, at this point, this is going to work straight away. How? Simple. We will press here. And we're gonna export this as a MIDI file. I'm gonna replace this one. I already had one set up. And once we are done with that, we will now use the tool I told you to download earlier. When you open it, it will ask you to open a MIDI file. So we will open our next.mid. And it will ask you for the BPM. In your case, we can see that in FL Studio it's 153. Okay. And after that, we will just save the file. Yes. Now we have our file. Now you need to put this on any song you want to replace, or if you have a custom song on your custom song. I already have a custom song, so I can just replace that one. Now we can open the game and try it out. So now back in the game, you can just try it out. In my case, use the next song, a custom one I made. So. We can see the chart now. As you can see, it's perfectly sync. And you have to do nothing for the arrows. It will automatically create them for you. So, the way this works is that the program I made will take whatever is into the MIDI channel number one and MIDI channel number two, and it will map those notes to random arrows based on the timing. But uh, the problem with that is that it's random. You cannot tell him the rows directly on this way. For that, there is a solution. Here we have our middle C note, C5 in FL Studio. It will depend on whatever you are using. For, no for notes C5, uh, C chart, D, and D chart 5, all of those notes, these are mapped directly into the rows. So this is like left, this is down, this is up, and this is right. We can use those for notes to map the arrows directly in whatever direction we want. So for example, we can do for example this into this, into this, into this. We can just move them around to match this part. And this will now perfectly match our pattern. And for the other player, the notes is the scale above. So it's 6-6, six, six, D sharp, C sharp 6, D sharp D6, and D sharp 6. So we can do the same. So I'm gonna put all of this into C6 so you can tell it's literally the same note. So for player 2 we will just have plus the same arrow, 5 times in a row, and player 1 will have like some crazy things. And the process is the same, you need to only export the MIDI file, save it as whatever name you want, open your parser, it's a MIDI to FNF file, just give it the MIDI file, give the BPM, and just select the output, and you are done. We can now try this again. Just replace the file and run the game again. Oh. Back in the game. Three, two, one, go. As you can see. As you 
can see it works exactly as we said. So that's it guys, it's extremely quick, extremely simple, and it's a much better way to make charts instead of using the extremely horrible in-game editor. <laughs> So yeah guys, I hope you like the video. If you want me to make more Friday Night Funky tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I have a Patreon, I have a Discord server, we will leave the links in the description. So thanks for watching and see you next time guys.